implode, sir. No. no, no, you don't. I'm in it for the long run, you know? Yeah, implosions are ugly. Yeah. Pop off to the bathroom, work one out anytime you can, and when you get really good at it, you'll fucking be stroking it and you'll be thinking about money. Second key to success in this racket is this little baby right here. It's called cocaine. Right. It will keep you sharp between the ears. It'll also help your fingers dial faster. And guess what? That's good for me. Yes, sir. Revolutions. You follow? Revolutions. Keep the clients on the Ferris wheel. And it goes. The park is open 24 7, 365. <laughs> every decade, every goddamn century. <laughs> That's it. Name of the game. How kitty key? Mmm. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Hey guys, and welcome to another glorious episode of the Redhead Boy podcast, hosted by me, Harry. Hope everyone had a lovely week last week. I was not around last week because I was busy celebrating my birthday, bitches. Yeah, 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 ooh, yeah, 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 ooh. <laughs> had a super good week. Thank you to everyone who made my birthday awesome and all the birthday messages and all that. I was feeling the love. I was feeling the love. But today I'm super excited to be back with another glorious show and another glorious guest. Today I have the uber talented sportsman, the UK botcher player, that is Tim Hayes on the show today. I am super excited to have him on the show to talk about everything sport. Uh, maybe flash into the past, talk about our school days. But enough of me chatting away. Let's dive in to the conversation with Tim. So Tim, thanks for thanks for coming on the show, man. I appreciate it. Now, to for people that are listening right now, Tim is my very first in-person guest, everyone. Uh, rather than over technology, and Tim is trying not to laugh right now, I can <laughs> tell by his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that we're in Tim's house right now. So no, pleasure to be on, mate. Thanks for having me on. Cheers, Tim. No, I appreciate it. Great to be on. I feel you don't bored everyone to death. <laughs> <laughs> Don't plot that idea in the head <laughs> no, to start with. No, to me, yeah. <laughs> Let's go back in time. Yep. And talk about yep. the old days. Indeed, yeah. And so, so... Oh, some of the best times, some of the best... Me and Tim, we met at Amring School at the LNC. Now, don't ask me what that means, because every time I think of the uh, name of that place, I just want to stutter or I forget. <laughs> so... Uh, we went to Amarin School together, our secondary school together, and that's where I met Tim. And it feels uh, like a lifetime ago now, but it's like, it's like it does. Day. It does. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, we literally before recording this conversation, we were talking about how we. Well, Tim says he sometimes forgets how old you. <laughs> how old I know. You are. Yeah. <laughs> scary, honestly. Scary. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy how quick time is. So me and Tim met when we were like. Uh, 10? 11. Yeah, 11. Yeah. And... Um, 2005. Yeah. That's crazy. And I think I remember the first time I met you, actually. Because I remember being in, in, <laughs> in, like, in like a room <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. with like all of the other, all of the other new reprobates. Yeah. With, with like, and all in... Was it our induction dance? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. and all still in our old primary school uniforms. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like, yeah, yeah. me with a tree on and then, <laughs> and then, and then I remember Charlotte Keane, which is a, somebody that also we went to school with yeah. and she had this like head shock <laughs> yeah. on her right, yeah, yeah. uniform. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bless. Did, yeah, yeah, bless. We all looked very naive. We did, then. we did, we did, yeah, yeah. We did, we did. Yeah. To talk about botcha, now, Tim, did you want to explain what botcher is? Yeah, so botcher is a Paralympic sport, a bit like bowls. So it's a um, disabled sport played by some of the most disabled athletes. Um, it's a target sport, precision ball sport, where you have a set of blue 
set of red balls and I've got a white jack ball and the object of the game is to get as close to the white ball as the other colour. And it's very, very tactical. Um, and would you say that you were like... Like, was, was, school, was school the first time that you knew of that sport, like, existed? I played a little bit at primary school, but it really took off for me. I was introduced to it at primary school, but it... it um, yeah, it, it took off for me at Amory. Yeah. Oh, man. I took it really seriously at Amory. Yeah, I joined more clubs and played more competitions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do, you think, do, you, do you think you have a clear moment where you were like, OK, I'm going to, like, go for this, rather than... Oh, it's PE time. Let's play this. Yeah, I, th- like, I think um, my first national competition when I was 15, 16. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought, wow, this is, this is amazing. You know, if I work hard, I could be in the England squad. Cool. Yeah, I, 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 it was amazing. Amazing. Oh, man. Yeah. When, whenever I think of Botcher, though, it's quite hilarious. Like, yeah. I think we talked about this the last time we, uh, we had a beer together. Yeah. Uh, where... Uh, we had a very passionate gentleman that uh, that used to <laughs> like used to teach us botcher, uh, and Steve. Yeah, 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 Steve yeah. as well, and yeah, 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 yeah. Steve Richards. Uh, oh, well, not a uh, not a uh, <laughs> Adam Tester. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. yeah, no, I remember yeah. uh, at school they were doing like an evening, <laughs> and to play botcher and showing like the parents like this is what your kids are doing. Yeah. And my parents yeah. came along with me. And um, yeah. and saw Adam Tester, bless her, Lo- yeah. bless her, bless him. Sorry, Adam. I didn't mean. I didn't mean. That I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to call you a woman, Adam. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. A- a- Adam's like very passionate about his yeah. sport and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, worked for me a bit privately as well. Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way you say that awkwardly. Yeah. Works for me. Works He's for moved me. on now. He's moved on now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He worked for me privately, not anymore, because <laughs> I caught him stealing the silver. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. joking, joking. Yeah. Um, so he was very passionate. And, Indeed he was, yeah. Uh, yeah, would you say him and Steve Richards were like the people that sort of... Or, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. Was, who, who, who was your main, like, person in your... In your corner, that was saying like, "Tim, I think I think you should pursue this." You know? Oh, definitely Steve Richards. Definitely Steve. Yeah, he, he was my main coach at school. He he gave me all the opportunities. Yeah, yeah, cool. Gave me all, all of his coaching time and helped me discover my passion for the sport. You know, and helped yeah. me set on my way. Yeah, to, no. to achieve what I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. I think I yeah. think when you get older, you don't realize actually how important like teachers and role models yeah. are. To I owe a lot of what I achieved to him because you know. Yeah, he put a lot of time and effort in, into guiding me, directing me to where to where I got to. Cool man. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, cool. I love um, working with him. Yeah, on and off court. Yeah, it was it was a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, it's good. Yeah, tell me about tell me about because Tim has for anybody that's listening, Tim has been all to loads of places. Uh, I do, mate. Uh, doing sports. So, so like, tell me, t- like, tell tell us and tell me some of the places that that you've been and so. Like, I've um, been to Russia twice. Who says they've been to Russia? I mean, that was amazing. So I won gold in Russia 2016, silver 2017. I've been to Slovakia, um, Poland, Prague, Scotland. So it's been great to be able to travel and see some places. Mm. They're, they're not exactly... They are holidays, but all you see is airport, sports hotel. hall, hotel. You don't have much downtime. Yeah, you're very much in competition mode when you get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But uh, amazing, amazing time. Really was me. Um, okay. It was tiring, but I, I I loved every minute of it. Do you do you have any funny <laughs> do do you have any funny stories from any of those trips or anything like? Cause did did you go with anybody that that you knew through school or anyone that? So I went with Matt Berry, um, okay. a fellow botcher athlete. Um, yeah, no, we had some great times. Yeah, we had, the parties in Russia were particularly memorable. The vodka and. <laughs> Vodka was flowing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once there was a food fight at the, the after party at one of the competitions. Yeah. And out there, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like memorable times, yeah, great times. Oh, man. Yeah. And that, that must be such an amazing feeling that, like, your sport led you to, like, different countries and stuff like that. Oh, to have those opportunities, it was just amazing. Um, yeah, no, they, they, um, they really helped me. 
developed me into the player that I became. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, amazing to play against different athletes as well, and yeah, experience different cultures and. For people that don't know much about boccia, it is like some uh, some real skill. Yeah. Uh, and as Tim said, it's for like uh, people with like a range of disabilities, but mainly like. How would you best like? So you're, cl- you're classified based on disability. So I'm a BC two thrower, so I've got cerebral palsy. Um, you've got BC ones, who are also throwers, but they don't have much movement. BC threes, um, they use ramps, assisted devices to propel the ball. And BC fours are non CP throwers. So that gives you a breakdown. Of- yeah, because I remember I, I I remember playing and then them just turning around. <laughs> it's harder to- than it looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then also like them turn around to me and be like. Harry, I think I think you might be just 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 a little bit too able. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, like, <laughs> putting, okay. it, putting it in the nicest possible way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This isn't for you, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the thing that was interesting at school, you got the people that like love boccia. Like, like we said, Adam and Richards. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then and then the people that were like, oh, this is boccia. But no, no. Yeah. Trust me, it is. It is a really like. Yeah. Um. It may. You probably agree with this. It may sometimes come across as a bit slow. Yeah. But then once it starts to get... It's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's, it's, it's fascinating to watch how yeah, the game's going. And how, yeah, it's, it, yeah, it, it's... Um, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and once the points start rounding up, like... Yeah, yeah. It gets really, it's really get... competitive. It really, gets really close games. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. The skill involved, the level back, was even, this, the game has developed, come on so much in the last few years, thanks to London 2012. That's a good, uh, like... Thing to get onto first when when you were saying about going to like Russia and Prague and stuff, uh, just like tell me like what was the level that 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 you were playing when you were doing that? So I think like... they were they were friendly competitions, but there won't be competitions where I'd go and get a world ranking, unfortunately. Okay, um, but they'd just be um, opens really. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 a chance for you to like show off your skills. The host, and yeah, and other countries would be there competing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I was getting when I got my first England cap. That was amazing. That yeah. Was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Very, when, very proud moment. When did you get that? I believe that was twenty fourteen in Prague, Czech Republic. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That must have felt like a big. Yeah, absolutely. It felt like all the hard work had paid off. That's good. No, Blood, uh, sweat, and tears. Like it's not just the training you do on court. You're in the gym. You're in the pool. You know, it's it's everything. Everything came together. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. When you were like proper like mm. into training mode, like te- like te- te- tell us what your like r- routine was in like getting mm. ready for like a competition and stuff like that. Like yeah, it's just, about that. it's just yeah, putting in loads of hours on the training court, um, making sure my nutrition's right. You know, doing stuff in the gym in the right in, in the week up to a competition, in the weeks leading to it, and then the pool. I just mm. was very focused. Yeah. Good man. Didn't let much distract me. Yeah, just no, no, no. take it very seriously. No, it's good. Early starts, the early starts at competitions and that, long days, but uh, oh, it's worth it. I, I think that's what I try and get with like the podcasts and stuff. I get so many people that come on that have like a passion and stuff. Mm. I think um, it's so important that's great. to like have a passion in, in something and be like that. Yeah, 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 it's great. Um, yeah, it's just so, something that drives you. And yeah. I think it's good for you because... Yeah, <laughs> when me and Tim used to have physio together or like hydro together, hydro is like going into a swimming pool and it's like yeah. a, a, a much hotter temperature than yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then that's right. Yeah, yeah. Then, that, that pool that was hot. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a hot pool. Yeah. I don't. I, we literally get in. It's like it's time to get out now. We've only had ten minutes in the pool. Yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah, bless you. <laughs> oh, it's time to get out. Now. A bit pointless, is it? Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bless you, cause, cause, Thanks. yeah, cause I, cause, cause I would obviously not take, not take that long, and then it'd be like me, you, Medi, yeah. and somebody else, and then Me- yeah. Medi used to like rip in the piss into yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the both of us. He was such yeah. a comedian, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's yeah, a funny man. guy, funny guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's funny. Yeah, yeah, he's funny. So, um, yeah, but in physio, I know that you particularly like, uh, when when it wasn't like botcher related, you didn't. Back when you were younger, you didn't really in, enjoy the gym that much. Yeah, I, I was a bit of a lazy sub back then, but um, nothing like I am now. I, yeah, yeah, I got away with far too much in those days. Yeah. <laughs> I did, did the minimal amount in the gym as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it's good that um, to have something that drives you and stuff like that, which is really mm. good. And I, like I said, I'm in, set me on my way, though. 
they helped me discover my passion. They 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 really pushed me to achieve my potential. You know. Yeah. Gave me all those opportunities. They they had a big part to play in in my in my story, in my journey. And would you say that you had any particular people that you admired in the sport, or people that you admired in sport in general that was like? Uh, see, so uh, one guy who was GB captain. Um, I played him at my first national competition. And we won't talk about the score because he had, he had to get hammered me, fresh me. But it was a great, great experience. Great experience. That was uh, about 2010. But pleasure to share the court with him and to mm. learn from him. He had my photo with him after the game. Cool, man. N- yeah, Nigel Paralympic captain. UK champion at the time. Cool. Yeah, national champion. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Definitely no. Nigel, definitely Nigel. Yeah, cool, yeah. cool, 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 He was the, the perfect role model in, in, the, in the sport at that time. Nice. Yeah. Nice. nice. But uh, you were getting like quite high up in the, like. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. the rankings in terms of like the sport and stuff, weren't you? Yeah. 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 yeah I, 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 well, one. My biggest moment was two thousand seventeen when I won the UK Championship. My first time at a competition. Yeah. I was only twenty three. Competed in Liverpool. I went up with Steve, and the minibus from school, and yeah, I was great. I couldn't believe I won it. To this day, I still can't believe I won it. And then that, that got me into the England squad. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Amazing to win that competition my first time there. It's that, incredible. Yeah. So I still pinch myself today. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, man. Yeah, yeah, who could say that? Well, not many could say they won the UK title that, that first time they had that competition. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Um, I, think, well, I think a lot of people couldn't say that about most like comp- competitive stuff and stuff like that. Achievement on your Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's definitely, yeah. It's definitely the highlight, the personal highlight. I mean... Nothing can top that in, in, in the game what I achieved. That's good, man. Yeah. That's good. But, but like I said, all the hard work paid off. And to go back to talking about like the Paralympics and stuff, um, what do you think about, because I find this interesting because I talked to a couple of other like b- b- botcher players and stuff. Um, you know, it, in, in Rio, botcher didn't, didn't get coverage on the main channels. Mm. Uh, what do you think about that? Oh, it's disappointing, but not a surprise. Disappointing. I hope it gets some sort of coverage if, if Tokyo goes ahead. Um, but it, it it feels a lot more mainstream now, so it should get a little, a little, little bit of coverage. Yeah, because I don't know if people remember, you could watch it, but it was one of those where you like, press the red button to see other coverage yeah. like, online. Yeah. And Boccia was, was one of those sports. Um, but It got a little bit, but not much. Yeah. I just want to get your opinion because you say that you're not surprised. Why would you say? Why would you say that you weren't surprised because of that? Like, the, you weren't surprised that it wasn't like front, front yeah, and center. Yeah, I think it's not people. Not many people still know about it. It's, yeah, it's still quite niche, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 That is a shame because. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a contradiction to, like, at school. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. that botcher was like the disabled sport at school. Yeah, yeah well, they took it very seriously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think nationally it was quite known and known mm. uh, that well. Well, hopefully now you you've been, been on here. Sorry, yeah. Now you've been on here, then it will. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, so that was my aim to raise my profile and the, and the sports profile as well. So <laughs> good yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. good man. I always find find it interesting because. Hopefully, Tokyo okay, guys. I'm not surprised if it's cancelled. Or- I don't think it should be going ahead at the moment, but um, mm-hmm. the plan is to go ahead with it. Yeah. 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 And you think, because um, you are like still friends with a lot of the like the uh, botch a lot mm. and yeah, a couple yeah. of people that we know mutually. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I know you stepped down from botch for a while for like personal reasons. And I know, if you don't mind me saying, I know that the driving force also, as well as yourself and Steve and Adam and all that, one of the driving force behind it was your mum. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, Absolutely. Tim sadly lost his mum uh, recently. Uh, it, it was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, July last year. Yeah, July last year. So, um, on the record, Tim's mum was a lovely woman. Uh, me and Tim were... Absolutely. We, m- Indeed she was. Me, me and Tim were very close in school. Yeah. And yeah. I have a lovely memory of, of your mum because yeah. <laughs> I came round, uh, I think, a, 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 a few times in our school, like, that five years. Uh, and, yeah. yeah, your mum was such a, a, a lovely person. No, thank such, you, mate. Yeah, cheers. Nice that means person. a lot. 
Thank you, mate. Yeah, it's yeah, all right. No worries. Thanks. Um, so, obviously, yeah, you took some time out to spend some quality time with your mum. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I did. I don't regret that. That's the right decision at the time. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. a hard decision to make, but it's definitely the right decision. Because your mum went to, like, a lot of your competitions with you and stuff. Oh, the reality she? is it wouldn't have been possible without her because she drove me everywhere. They, you know, she funded all the hotels, you know, putting all the time and effort with me to yeah. support me and guide me. And I was, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I could, I could tell that from, like, standing from outside of both of your relationship mm. that your mum was very much yeah. your cheerleader behind no, you. Absolutely. Going, Driving fourth yeah. street cheerleader, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think, because we had this discussion before, which I think you should, but mm. that's entirely up to you, uh, do you think that you'd want to want to go go back and try? I would, but only on a sort of casual social level. Um, nothing nothing serious. I sort of haven't got the energy for, for the top level. I'm sort of happy with what I've achieved, but I, I'd love to go back for a laugh, you know, shout out for a laugh here and there with the lads and train here and there. Provide the competition to the guys that need it. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Happy with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you did. Um, it would be cool for you to like teach. Oh, uh, yeah, or... I'd love to do some coaching at some point. Yeah, I feel I've got a lot of knowledge and a, a lot, a lot of insight to pass on to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd love to 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 ve- develop the next generation of players where I can. Yeah, cool man. It would be such a nice like full circle for you to like like train and like work with the. With the young That's, guys yeah. that are doing... When I can, when COVID allows, when COVID's gone, you know, you know, I'll look into that differently. That's my... That's on my radar, you know, to get back in. In that capacity, I'd love to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, I'm sure... I, I, I'm sure your mum would be looking down at you now and looking down at, well, like, what all, all, all you've mm. achieved as, like, together and as a unit as well. Um, I'm just proud to be her son. She did so much for me, mate. She, it wouldn't have been possible without her. My aim is to make her proud every day. She's and always here, always with me, every step of the way. Of course, yeah. course she is, my friend. Of course she Absolutely. is. Absolutely. No, um, thank you for opening up like that. Mo- moving on from that. First, first, I always think it's interesting when people say, like, uh, make, make them proud. First, I want to say, obviously, your mum is proud of you anyway. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Yeah, she is. And she done some amazing. And my brother things. as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Tim, Tim is is an uncle now, which is cool. Yes, mate. Yeah, That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? Oh, it's amazing, mate. It's lovely. Yeah, L- lovely. It's it's the most wonderful thing, a wonderful gift. Yeah. The sad that we lost a life, but to gain a life was, was lovely. Um. Yeah. 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 yeah little Sophie's doing really well. She's good. Nearly one in August. Nice. She's got another one on the way in October. So. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's, that's good. Crazy, that's good. I think it's so nice to have it's li- lovely. It's so nice to have little ones in the family. And stuff. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I have a niece that's just turned it's two, just lovely. and it's like they they make you they make you more kiddy, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's made me realise that I want to start a family. I want my all my own kids. Yeah. Oh, uh, good man. It will happen when it happens, you know. Yeah. Going back to the botcher stuff, um, I think yeah, it would be really good, and it'd be really good once like yeah. COVID's buggered off and everything yeah, yeah. That, that 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 you get back at it and stuff which oh yeah obviously when COVID's gone but yeah I'd love to yeah yeah yeah. and I'm sure Steve and Adam will, uh, oh, yeah. will hook you up with stuff I'm, I'm not in touch with Adam anymore but Steve definitely I'll message Steve um, from time to time so I can't wait to get back in and throw some balls and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just looking forward to the banter that goes with it just looking forward to the laugh you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah Tim's yeah. got Tim's got a very recognisable laugh when he's laughing indeed uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> indeed yeah, yeah. yeah as I say you're like a a, a true tr- triumph my friend this is not being me being sarcastic or doing the whole thing where where pe- people say but it's good that you know um that you still have a passion for it, even mm. though it's been ups and downs, and that yeah, it hasn't been easy. You've got to be, you've got, to, you've got to put the work in, the effort into to achieve what you want to achieve. Yes, you know, especially um, in sport, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because it's hard, it's hard to get the funding. You are, you know, it's, you are self-funded, so yeah, um, we, yeah, it's a lot of hours in the gym. It's, it, it's um, it's a hard journey, but if you're prepared to put the effort in, yeah, man. Yeah, the the, the results are amazing. What you can achieve is amazing. For you guys listening, if you're interested in the sport, uh, do, do you know where they play locally? 
So best, your best bet is to go on the national governing body website, which is uh, Botch England. I think there's a, there's a club finder. If you just type in your local postcode, uh, it'll come up with all local clubs clubs on there. Um, but yeah, yeah Botch England will give the, um, anyone more information All, who's interested. Also, I, I put um, in the info of this episode, I put Tim's Instagram. So yeah. Hazy94. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could always uh, drop him a message as long as it's not anything naughty. Uh, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it PG, everyone. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. No, I think I think that's a good place to wrap. To be honest, yeah, I was, uh, yeah. No, I thanks for it. talking, man. Uh, no, I appreciate you coming on. No pleasure, mate. I love it. And uh, thank you so much for opening up about like personal stuff and stuff like that. Of course, mate. Happy to have. Which is um, which is good. Yeah. And I wish you all the best. Yeah, as thank I you, do. Mate. Yeah, cheers. And, and uh, with with. Like still sticking with your botching and stuff. And yeah, doing, yeah. Doing doing bits. Which That's the goal, good. not on the level I was before. Which but we just want COVID to fuck off now. Yeah, uh, so we want COVID. We want COVID to uh, <laughs> bugger off. Yeah, absolutely. Disappear. Uh, so it's been a nightmare. It's been a nightmare. Yeah, it's alright. We're coming like like we're coming out of it. So we hope. Yeah, 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 yeah slowly. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Slowly, but, slowly back to normality. But no, thanks for coming on, man. I really yeah, welcome, man. It. I've loved it. Yeah, it's been and good. Th- yeah, thanks again for being so like candid and honest. Um. I might edit the bit out that you, <laughs> of the person that you call a twat, because you might meet him later on. Yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, let's, 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 I think that'd be sensible, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was my conversation with Tim Haynes. Thank you so much, Tim, for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. I know you found it a little nerve wracking, but you did good. You did good, big man. It was so good to have you on the show to talk about Boccia. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you, Tim, for sharing your botcher journey with us. Some of your stories. It was super cool to reflect on school, as it always is. And thank you for being so honest with about your mum. Uh, she truly was a lovely lady. And here's to you being or coaching. Uh, the next generation of botcher players. Uh, I wish you all the best, my friend, and thank you so much for coming on the show. So, that's the end of the episode. So, thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, you guys take care.